Hi guys, today I'm back with another try on clothing haul, but this time summer edition with a mix of clothing pieces for the back to school season. In one of my previous videos, I asked you guys if you preferred for me to do voiceovers in my haul videos, and the responses were all yeses, so here I am doing a voiceover for this video. Comment below if you guys like me talking in the videos or if I should just go back to doing text. Now, onto the video. Ledin kindly sent me a package full of clothing pieces, but before I began the haul, let me introduce the brand where I got the clothes you'll be seeing. Ledin is a clothing company that features pieces with a very feminine look and charm. The inspiration for their clothing is the current way of dressing in London, mixed with fashion trends worldwide, which I think is so cool. Their goal is to empower women through their brand, and they aim for everyone to enjoy a fashionable lifestyle. I recommend checking them out in the description. You might find a piece that fits your style perfectly. If you do decide to order from their brand, use the code EMMA20 for a discounted price off your order. So let's get into the haul. The first item I got was this mini cardigan in a creamish yellow color. It has this lacy feel that wasn't too drying but did feel a bit weird when I tried it on. It also had two ties down the middle to kind of close up the cardigan. I thought the detailing in the fabric was really intricate and added a lot of elegance to the cardigan. It could go over a dress like how I'm wearing it or you could pair it with a lace top and jeans and that could also be really cute. Just as a side note, I am not a fan of the dress that I'm wearing with this particular cardigan just because both of them have patterns so it clashed together but the cardigan could be really cute with a solid colored dress. The next item I got from Leiden was this pair of beige track shorts. I definitely expected these to be shorter in length and possibly thinner and for the feel of them, I didn't really like the material they were made out of. It had this smooth feeling, but wasn't very soft. It was almost like super, super thick athletic wear. So personally, it isn't something I would wear as loungewear or around the house, but it might be for some other people. If I were to wear these pair of shorts, I would style them with a graphic baby tee or a solid colored tank top. The third item I received is this sleeveless striped tank. I love the feel of this top. It wasn't too thin or too thick, and it felt really soft. It's this stretchy type of material that I found so, so comfortable. It had these little flowers across the band at the bottom, which adds a cute detail to the plain striped top. I would style these with a skirt of some kind or jeans because jeans go with everything. So next up, I got a sweater vest. But not just any sweater vest, I got one with a 3D flower stuck to it. So this vest is definitely not the same material as my other sweater vest. As you can probably tell just from looking at it, it's thinner and it's definitely not the sweater material that everyone's used to. It's like this waffle material that you see in thermal wear but stiffer. It's also on the oversized side so you could easily layer it during the winter with a long sleeve or turtleneck under it. So basically the story behind this was that I saw this on Lead in Sight and I was gonna pair it up with some green plaid pants that I also found on their site because I thought it could be a fun, funky kind of fit, but the pants weren't in stock anymore, yet I still bought the sweater vest. So I'm not sure what I would wear this with that I have in my closet as of right now, but it could be paired with some brown corduroys with a turtleneck underneath, like I mentioned earlier. So next up, I got a pair of jeans. I know this isn't very summery as this is a summer haul, but I have been on the search for my very perfect, perfect pair of jeans for a while now, and I still have not found any perfect, perfect pair of jeans. But I thought it would be fun to try some out from Ledin in case I do find the one. The tag even says it's bulky warm, so definitely not super summery, but it could fall under the back to school season category. And okay, when I tell you guys these felt like good quality denim jeans, they felt like good quality denim jeans. But sadly, I will not be able to wear them because I can barely breathe in them. Luckily, I have a friend who will be taking them and the pair of jeans will be in good hands. But if any of you guys are looking for a solid pair of jeans, I would highly, highly recommend these. They are such a good staple to have in your closet. On a brighter note, I got a second pair of jeans. These ones are a bit lighter than the previous pair I just tried on, but just as nice. The quality of these jeans feel amazing as well, 
but definitely thinner than the ones I tried on earlier, which means I could potentially wear them during the summer on cooler nights or when I'm indoors with AC. The different thing about these pants is that they have a heart cut out on the right pant leg. Although I thought it was a cute detail, it was definitely something outside of my comfort zone jean-wise. But nonetheless, I still love, love, love this pair of jeans, and I'll definitely be wearing them a lot since they fit me perfectly. And I got another denim item, but I promise this is the last of denim you'll see in this video. But at least this one can be put under the summer category because it's a cute little jean skirt. I've recently been wanting to wear more skirts, especially vibrant colored ones or even ones with fun patterns but a good jean skirt is also a staple in the skirt family the quality of the skirt is the same as the jeans that i got it had such a good feel and will definitely be living in my closet for a while the only downside to the skirt for me personally is the buttons they're so cute but so difficult to unbutton if i needed to go to the bathroom in this skirt it would take me a solid 10 minutes to undo the buttons and then another 10 minutes to button them back up but I guess I'll have to plan on wearing it when going out for a short period of time, but don't get me wrong, I still love the flower buttons. And lastly, this haul would not be a summer haul without some kind of floral dress, so I picked up this long cream colored dress with purple flowers from Latin. It was automatically giving off very picnic-y vibes, very much prancing in the woods collecting flowers type of thing. I love the feel of this dress, it was thin so you could easily survive in the summer heat, but it wasn't overly thin. It also had adjustable straps, which I loved because I am still in my growing era. And on the back, it had that kind of frilly ruffled material. I think it's called like ruching material, but I'm also not exactly sure, so... But that makes the dress stretchy so you can slip it on and there's no zipper that's super hard to zip up yourself, which I think was really convenient. So overall, I am so, so excited to wear this dress out. So that's it for my little summer clothing haul, probably the last summer haul you'll see this year because we're moving into the back to school season. But be sure to check out Latin for some fun cute pieces and make sure to use code EMMA20 for a discounted price off your order. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Comment below if you liked my new style of talking in the video because it's definitely different. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.